Hello to the YouTubes. It is me, your old buddy, Mr. Unter. What is up? It's me again. Um, long time no see. Oh, he's such a booty, this. Oh, he's such a booty. Eto ne. I am kind of doing this vlog just on a, oh, how do you say, whim? Uh, for two reasons. Reason number A. I was working on a uh, vlog where I used a few things in uh, I use a few Japanese words um, that if you don't if you don't study Japanese or don't know much about Japanese you probably wouldn't get it and you go hey, what the heck is he talking about mm, sorry so I will first give you this blog to kind of explain what's going on and it's Japanese 101 so I'm gonna explain to you how the Japanese system works and I will try to be as simple as possible so this way I know I can't get it wrong and I can give you what I can without going into detail and making it sound more confusing so I'm not giving you any history on the Japanese language uh, I'm just gonna show you simply how it works and how it's read and how to pronounce very very simple stuff bear with me and reason number two uh, I'm studying for the Japanese language proficiency test and I mean I'm studying for level three which is you know quite advanced if you're a beginner but I'm suddenly in that teaching mood so let's begin shall we there are three uh, systems of Japanese writing um, there's sort of five but I'll, I'll explain that to you um, with the most basic form of writing of the Japanese language, Romaji, uh, which is just Roman letters, uh, Latin letters, uh, Romanization. For example, and uh, please excuse the uh, bitmap, um, I don't feel like using Photoshop for something that can be taught simply, so um, kiss, keeping it simple, stupid. Mm. So. Let's start with Romaji. Uh, Romaji, Roman characters, um, your ABC system. For example, this word, sushi. Um, if you don't know sushi, then I don't know. I don't know what to think. Karaoke and sake. Now, as English speakers, we have... Uh, I can't say Americanized, but we've Englishized. I don't know how you would say that, but we've we've Englishized Japanese words. Uh, for example, kara karaoke, you know, um, but you normally pronounce it or karaoke, karaoke. Same thing with sake, sake, you know, but normally we would pronounce it sake. Japanese liquor. Uh, so that's that. Um, you know, it's basic. It can be read by um, any uh, English speaker or any anyone who could recognize Latin characters. Um, the next system, the basic basic Japanese writing system, is hiragana. Um, it's broken up into syllables. Um, here are the same exact examples that I gave you before in hiragana. The first one is sushi. The first character is pronounced su. Second character is pronounced shi. Therefore, sushi. This uh, next word uh, below sushi is sake, or Japanese liquor. The first uh, character is pronounced sa. Second character is pronounced ke. And there are, there are various characters, um, you know, you have a, i, u, e, o, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, sa, shi, su, se, so, and so on and so on. Um, next you have its uh, counterpart, which is katakana. Katakana is often used for uh, some proper nouns and for foreign words. Um, now, although we have taken some Japanese words and really, you know, butchered them, I should say. 
um, the Japanese have done the same with English. And uh, we're actually in a, our fifth grade textbook. We are going over a lesson. So in our English class, the uh, teachers are teaching the kids between English and Japanese English. Um, and that's what lesson six is about in our fifth grade textbook. Foreign words, Japanese English, called eto, gairai go. For example, banana and terebi and guitar and gorilla. You know, it should be gorilla, guitar, banana, TV or television. And so this is what the kids are learning um, in this lesson. They're learning the difference between sakka and soccer. So, um, so for foreign words like that, you would use uh, katakana. Uh, for example, banana, or as it would be pronounced, banana. Um, the first a character you see here is pronounced ba. The next two characters characters are pronounced na and na, respectively. Um, another example would be milk or milk. Uh, the first character is mi. Second character, ru. The last character, ku. Put it together, you get milk. So. That's how that writing system works, katakana. Um, the last system is called kanji. Kanji is taken from uh, Chinese writing. It's basically Chinese writing with uh, different pronunciations, um, mainly the same meanings. So if you know Chinese or if you know Japanese and you know kanji, essentially you can not necessarily um, be able to understand or pronounce both languages, speak it fluently, or what am I trying to say? But uh, essentially, you can read and understand kanji. You can understand the kanji in either country. So, uh, simple example, uh, like I said, I don't want to make this too complicated. Uh, if you take this kanji, hana, which is uh, flower, and you take this kanji, which is uh, bi, sometimes pronounced bi, uh, you get uh, fire. Put it together, it's hana bi, hana bi, or flower fire. Or, as you know, in English, you would better know it as fireworks. Uh, another example this kanji here means electricity, and it's pronounced den. Uh, the next kanji is the kanji for speak or talk or sometimes story, um, and it is sometimes pronounced wa. So you have electricity and speech or talk. Um, you put them together, you make denwa, electric talking, or better known as telephone. So. That is how the Japanese writing system works. Uh, so if ever in my vlogs I tell you words like romaji, hiragana, katakana, and kanji, there you go. And last but not least, I am forgetting one, furigana. Furigana is basically smaller hiragana above eh, kanji. If, uh, for example, you're reading a story and you know you bump into a kanji that you don't know, um, you know you know the word that's placed there, but you don't know what the kanji is. There would be furigana above or next to the kanji to kind of help you and guide you. So let's take the same examples. Hanabi. If you don't recognize hana and bi, furigana would be right above hanabi and tell you that it's hanabi. I'm like, oh, Hanabi fireworks, hey, I got it. So, I'm going to post, I'm going to go work on this video, then fix my next video, and then I'm going to post it. And I'll see you later. Peace.